This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Hi guys, Rachel Bob here. Welcome to another Sims Mobile video. I've been waiting to record this one for a while, working my way arduously through the Sim Festival tasks to get to this point so I can do a tour of the house properly for you. This is Vanessa Young's Manor. It comes with the paid festival prize track. So this is the point I'm on right now, point 45, tier 45. And I can collect the sim cash from the free track and then the mana from the paid track. If you get past this track and you decide you want this, you can still pay and unlock everything previous from the tiers. So we'll just collect that now. And that is now in my house templates section. So we'll just close that. And now if we, I mean, dare we bulldoze this beautiful lot? I think we should. Why the heck not? If we go into bottom right here, the little couch, we have our house template feature, which is top right of that menu, the little house with the scroll on it. And then we can see here, we've got Yong Manor. You can tap on the magnifying glass and view any of these lots without actually purchasing them. So don't think that you have to purchase it to have a proper look around, but I am going to actually place it. So you can see the sizing of it there. We get one free placement. So be aware if you place it and then you bulldoze it and you want to place it again, you are going to have to pay. I will show you the price for that in this video. So we'll place it here now. All of your items will go into storage. Okay, no worries. And there we go, that is my new house, Young Manor, placed on the lot. Beautiful. If you want to see more about house templates, I'll put a link in the description to the video I've done previously about that. But let's take a look at around this. You can see the, uh, not too much landscaping outside, but there's a nice bit to make it all tied together. I guess this is a celebrity mansion and we've got the octopus um, <laughs> table. The, it's very interesting decor. I mean, if I walked into this in real life, I'm not sure I'd be blown away by this. I guess it's supposed to look like a pool with an octopus coming out of it. Is that the vibe? I don't know. Uh, yeah, anyway. And then lovely little lamp on here. I just feel like a lot of the stuff doesn't really go together. I'd quite like to um, redo this, like redecorate, not particularly remodel, but redecorate. If you guys would like to see that, please let me know. I could make this into a proper celebrity palace, like pink palace of dreams. <laughs> We've got this. I like the kitchen island. I think that's really cool. It's very celebrity-esque, but I'm not sure that's the fridge that Vanessa would have. Lots of windows here. Still very nice, big, open house for a celebrity. She's got a bar out back. Of course she has with the glow bar that you unlocked previous. Then a little seating area. Love it. Tiny bedroom downstairs. I mean, can you see Vanessa housing people with that with the basic bedside table and lamp? She didn't even have curtains, bless her. She can't be doing that well. Anyway, I, like, I prefer this little um, seating area. I think this would have been a good entrance way, a design here. And again, utilizing some of the stuff that you unlock along that price track. Then if we go up, these are the rooms we have upstairs, just her bedroom, private ensuite bathroom. Just nothing goes together. <laughs> uh, we got obviously the new flooring and the wall panel. It's all great. That's Young Manor. I, I like it from the outside, I think it's great, but I just think I want to revamp it greatly. I really do. What do you guys think? Would you revamp it? Or would you be, because you've paid for it and you're so worried that you're gonna have to pay for it again if you bulldoze it, maybe that puts you off changing anything at all. So let's have a look. How much is, would this be if I wanted to bulldoze it? Okay, so if I wanted to place that again, so say I made any changes to that and I thought, oh goodness, I preferred it how it was. How it was. Oh look, she has got curtains in that room. She's got curtains in her bedroom. 
nowhere else. They're really nice curtains, actually. We could definitely make this into a pink palace. Anyway, yeah, so if you changed anything and then you thought, actually, I want to put it back to how it was and you just want to bulldoze it and replace, or you want to place this on another lot, and you placed it on the wrong one, or you want it on another lot as well, it's going to cost you 3,800 sim cash to place that again and that is the equivalent of oh my god <laughs> just under 50 pounds so you know maybe it's okay to be a bit precious and is that the value of this house to you is that what you think the value of this house is i don't know a very nice design architecture wise but the interior lets it down in my opinion but i'd love to hear your thoughts of this entrance way it's very cool yeah, I'd love to hear your thought. How do you even do that? I don't think you can even make them so they're that thin. No. So I'm not sure how they've done that doorway. <laughs> it's probably worth it for the doorway alone. Just be careful if you do go in and edit that room or anything like that that's custom to this build that we can't actually do normally in build mode. You won't be able to put it back how it was. You will have to re-buy the template if you want it to look how it did because we don't have the ability for example to place two by one room so just be aware of that but there we go that's young manor let me know your thoughts down in the comments thank you so much for watching i hope this helps you make a decision on whether the festival prize track is worth it or not for you thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again soon bye